You're listening to The Incomparable's Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 255, posted August 2020. The log is nature's abacus. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. I am your Dungeon Master, Tony Sindelar, and this is Dragonforge and Associates, the story of a motley crew who continues to journey into Undermountain, fight dangerous things, and so far, live to tell the tale. Um, allow me to introduce our players in a pseudo-random order. First off, it's Jason Snell. Jason, hi. Hi, Tony. How are you? I'm great. How have you been? <laughs> well, I, I, I've been fine. Peter Dragonforge has been inside a giant alligator slash crocodile slash monster. But um, he's out now and might soon be awake or dead, but probably awake. <laughs> you are out of the uh, imminent peril and now just in the peril of being unconscious and making death saving throws. So that's that's good it's news. It's an improvement, technically. It's an improvement. Also here, it's Steve Lutz. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's it's okay. Jason just asked me that. How are you? <laughs> I wasn't listening. No. <laughs> yep, it's me. Uh, I'm playing a Lestrin. I'm fine. <laughs> I haven't been inside any monsters recently. Yeah. Uh, it's all good. It's all, all it's cost you is a small supply of Firestorm arrows. Uh, yeah. Next up uh, in the t uh, Team Unconscious, it's Sarah Barber. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hey. Um, I'm not dead yet, thankfully. Um, and hopefully somebody stabilized me, and I'm playing Rizwin, the, uh, the dwarven cleric. Technically the healer. Sort of. So, anybody wants healing, ask him how it's going. make me conscious. <laughs> uh, uh, also, also here, it's Monty Astley, safely in the corridor outside the room full of death and carnage. Yeah, it's going fine with me. Um, how about you, Tony? I'm doing doing okay. <laughs> That's good. And back in the room full of carnage, it's Erica Ensign. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm playing Flessa, the human rogue. I, Flessa is just covered from head to toe in crocodile blood, and one arm is also covered in like digestive juices and muck wow uh, great layers of crocodile insides are yeah yep. i mean i still yep. look better than than peter and acrid mm -hmm. but it's pretty it's still pretty gross it's bad yeah um and last but not least the player who slew the champion herself it is the one the only georgia dow hi georgia Hi, I'm playing Acrid. I'm a dragonborn um, warlord, and uh, I look a little bit singed. I have a little bit more sympathy for those that I have dragon breathed with my acid, <laughs> and my hair is slowly glued to my head and peeling off in sections, and underneath my singed, moist cloak right now, I have a little tiny air. Okay. Hiding. A little embarrassed. That was, you know, yeah. impromptu. <laughs> So, uh, let's, uh, let's do the always fun Dungeons and Dragons, uh, healing accounting party. Um, so Peter Dragonforge, unconscious, uh, Rizwin, unconscious. Um, what can, what can people do about that? You are out of combat, but there are still kind of rounds because every round the, uh, the unconscious people need to make a death saving throw. I can use an inspiring word. Who do you want to inspire first? Well, I'm thinking I can do it on Rizwin because she looks like she's pretty bad um, and she can heal Peter. Or I could do it on P Peter. Who would be closer to death that I should use it on? Peter is I'm physically closer to you and closer to death. There it's we true. go. That I'm makes holding it... Peter's head above the water so oh, he's not good. also drowning. So I'd like to point that out. Mm. Well, let's. Dr I'll drag him out of the water and yeah. heal him because I figured that sounds right. Drowning after you're healed. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be real like embarrassing right to, to save him from being eaten by a monster and then, like, through negligence, allow him to drown in like three feet of water. <laughs> right. Um, so Look, there's I'm only so much him... we can do for this guy. <laughs> yeah. He gets to use his healing surge, and I'm going to give him an extra one d six hit points of healing as well. Six. Oh, and the good news, Peter, you get to start from zero, not from your negative. That's value. great. 
All right. Pierre vomits out about a quart of swamp water and four gallons of crocodile blood. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and probably some stuff. He need a meal for a week. <laughs> and some stuff that was inside Peter Dragonfly. Peter, so. Peter looks up and says, did we win? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. So that was Peter and Flessa and Acrid. Uh, I think uh, Monty and or, 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 let me let me use your character names. Maintain the illusion that this is a thing. Uh, Melik <laughs> and Alestrid, Can you do anything about Rizwin, who is also unconscious? We can try. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, uh, let's see. If you yeah. roll a fifteen on a heal check, yes. you will stabilize I'll me. Run, run over and I'll be right I'll be conscious again, so I, I will then be able to heal other people. I will attempt to use my natural healing skills. Oh, uh, I rolled a seventeen, total of nineteen. Yeah, you better All than right. me. So I think just to clarify, I think stable means not dying. It doesn't mean conscious. Oh, but damn it. Um, it means what? Still, I'll take it. Still, yeah. yeah. So you are not dying, which means uh, anybody with a healing spell could now, uh, Acrid could go over and inspire you. Peter could lay on hands. Uh, it's probably just a matter of keeping track of which powers have been used. And so, then they recharge in five minutes. Now that we are stabilized, we're no longer encountering, right? Yes. Uh, all right. The uh, lizard folk, uh, brawler, big tough, mm-hmm. huge, hulking lizard folk. He's good seven and a half feet tall. He's got big, bulging biceps. Uh, looks kind of mean. Got a lot of scars on his face. Uh, but has kind of a sheepish uh, expression as he kind of stands there awkwardly kind of shuffling his feet. Because uh, he's not... He's he's never surrendered before. This is new to him. Well, he did defeat his champion. Yeah, you did. He did kind of help us defeat his champion. He'd prefer if you did Once. not bring that up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bring it up all the time <laughs> for the amount of time that we're with this guy i feel okay. like okay <laughs> i feel like that maybe, maybe smurgle, won't be that long maybe smurgle needs a new deliver delivery guy or like an uh, enforcer uh, there you i'd go. like to a suggest bouncer. that he turn Sandwich around enforcer. while we steal the rubies from his sacred idol <laughs> mm-hmm. uh so the lizard folk guy is just like ah uh, if it's all the same to you i'll just i'll just be going now uh, uh, uh. Uh, i don't think so now you wait here <laughs> I yeah, like uh, where do you want me to wait? Corner. I point Stand to the in corner. the corner, facing the corner. We'll let you know when you can turn around. <laughs> Think he about doesn't. what you did. <laughs> can he? Can I? Can I sit down? No. Okay. So All right. Uh, just to clarify, who used the power to get uh, Rizwin back from death? I'll use inspiring word. All right. Thank you. Yay! Unconscious again. One second, you get an extra six again. Great. Nice. So, so check off that you are spending a surge, you get the value of a surge, and then plus six. So does that mean yes, we've yes, taken yes. a short rest? I think that now might be we a good time now. to take a short rest. What about a long rest? I might need a long rest. <laughs> I think that you are down the hall from the chieftain of the yeah. lizard folk tribe and have just had a loud, huge, tumultuous fight in his hallway. And are about to steal this- their stuff. Yeah. Yep. And- Let's get- Get the hell yeah, out this of here. this is probably. Please, I think please. I'm being. I, I I have to remind myself. A short rest in five e is an hour. A short rest in four e is only five minutes. Right. It, yep. it seems plausible that you might hang out here for four minutes, but probably don't want to overstay. It's going to take Peter yeah. that long to wring out his stuff, his clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like more than that, Peter. Well, well, first layer. He's not going to do a great job. <laughs> so yeah. temporary hit points are gone. Temporary hit points are gone. Recharged. Um, you had temporary fact, hit points. You know what? I you had know temporary what? hit points. <laughs> yeah, I had six. Well, you must have lost those temporary hit points before you went unconscious. Everyone had temporary I hit did. points from the Bastion of Defense, and mm-hmm. also gone. my death surge. Yeah, see, mine were mine were gone. A- Enda does not look great. She's got a pretty good head wound going. Um, it's been a rough day, everybody. But it's, it's all really going to be worth it. Would anybody like a healing word? I think Enda would like well, a healing word. Surges. I don't know some, what her hit I'll points are, healing. Tony, but she's okay. bloodied. Her hit points are 14. Okay. We just, we and just uh, took a short rest. You can take healing surges if you got them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But I also give you a bonus of six. Yeah. I'll do that. Um, I so six but plus in order to recharge those then for future use, we would need to wait another, you know, rest another five minutes, uh, which I'll might I'll just be... use my healing surge then. Here's what I'm going to okay. suggest. Take five minutes. 
deal with what you want to do in this room, and then run away and do more healing somewhere else. All right. So Steal, I'm... flee, sleep. What like should I, I have... love? Tony, what should I put down for Enda's hit points now? Uh, Rizwin, did you just heal Enda, or did you heal someone else? Uh, I was healing Enda. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. You get plus six, plus your healing surge. Uh, let's see. Uh, and take your Enda's healing, healing surge. surge is nine. Uh, plus six is 15. She, her hit points were 14. 14 plus 15 29. is 29. 29. And does max hit points are 38. 38. I got that. Yep. So you got that. So now you know current hit point. Great. Five. All right. Uh, and you know, you're now no longer alive. Or no longer. Haha. Missed that. No, longer no longer inside a crocodile. You don't have to manage end if you don't want to, uh, Jason. Okay. So, that was a consolation prize for maybe your character is going to die. Mm -hmm. So, Enda is feeling better after some uh, medical care from Rizwin and is pacing back and forth, being like, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This was not the plan. Uh, uh, Wes is climbing the statue at this point to get All the, right. to the statue. All right. climbing the statue. Yep. So, you want to check for traps up there before you get too involved? I got Mage Hand if you want to. Maybe not. Be I can right just up lift you. Them. Well, they probably have to be pried out. I figure rubies in eyes of idols get taken so many times that they're probably easy to pop out. You know, they say that if you go to a pawn shop in uh, Neverwinter, every gem you see in there has been part of a minimum of four different idols. <laughs> <laughs> There's also two cauldrons up here, guys, with stuff in them. Any soup? Uh, the one on the right looks like soup. I'm going to go and check out the cauldrons <laughs> and see if I can use my heal skill to identify them. Tony? Maybe. Maybe uh, they're healing yeah. potions. P Peter is looking around him to see if any of the contents of the champion's stomach were um, maybe things that were not digested from previous things it's eaten. Yeah. Like many magic items or weapons or armor or anything else that might have sure. come out of it. That was more interesting than Peter. And mm. uh, yeah. Don't set uh, yourself short, Peter. <laughs> look, he's just so, taking stock me... right now, basically. Uh, also seeing if so, any of his possessions are there. Like, he's just looking around. Rizwit, you were inspecting. There is some kind of strange kind of cauldron. Uh, there, there are two large pools uh, next to the, uh, or not large, two decent sized little pools on pedestals next to the big statues. Um and the uh, you, you inspect those. One of them seems to just be water, though it's kind of swampy, gross, uh, muddy water. Uh, and the other is seems to be some kind of like uh, sacrificial plate bowl that uh, the blood of some small animals has been drained into. Cool. That that doesn't seem like healing splice. Yeah. No. Cool. Uh, just to remind you, there are two large statues in this room. Uh, they Each statue depicts a robed male human with a long and twisted beard and wild hair dancing around its head. Uh, one statue is frowning and has its arms crossed over its chest. The other looks like it's laughing and has its arms outstretched in apparent excitement. Uh, the striking difference is that the, uh, the frowning statue has huge glittering red eyes, while the uh, laughing statue has just empty sockets. I rolled a 25 in my history. Is it Halister Blackcloak? Sure looks like Halister Blackcloak. Cool. Creator of Undermountain. What a guy. What a guy. Uh, Peter Dragonforge, give me a perception check on Crocodile Guts. I mean, I've been oh, no. close, up close and personal with them for a while now. Yeah. It's a 15. Uh, you find several mismatched boots and partially digested belts and nothing else too exciting. Boots and belts, boots and belts, mm -hmm. boots and belts. Boots and belts and boots and belts. Uh, Falesa, what are you doing? Uh, because of Lester and Hollard, hey, check it for traps. I'm looking for traps on this statue. All right, give me a perception check. I hollered that from the other room, by the way. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> from safely outside. Are of... you checking for traps? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do we really uh, need this, Ruby? Totally, totally checking for traps. That's an 11. You do not find any traps with an 11. All right. Then I'm going to so, climb So, Flesa, you've had not much trouble uh, scaling Alestrin, the... Alestrin, are you and Melek still all the way back there, or have you come, like, into the room now? Uh, I figure I somebody's for... got to keep an eye out for people thrusting into this room, so... Yeah, I came forward to do that healing, but then I'm ha kind of like to back up to where I <laughs> okay. was. Okay, all right, yeah. there's the answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, are they hiding or are they the front line for when something horrible comes and attacks you from the east? Um, Neither. We're guarding. Yeah, whatever. This is guard duty. Um, 
So, Flessa, uh, I'm, you're, a, you're a rogue. I'm not even going to make you roll for climbing up a 30-foot stall t- for 30 foot tall statue. Should that be hard to say? Is it bad that I had trouble saying that? 30 foot tall statue. Foot you got tall it. Statue. <laughs> this is good podcasting. <laughs> is it? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Plessa, you are you're standing on one of the arms uh, of the statue. It's huge, glittering red eyes glint back at you. I think I'll check for traps again, on mm-hmm. specifically on the head of the statue. Yep. Uh, this time, that's a 12. So I'm getting better at this. You are getting technically better. You do no not stuff. find any traps. How's right, it going? Then... Did you check for any traps? I checked. It's totally safe. Okay. Plus <laughs> yells. And then I will try to use one, uh, a dagger to pry out. Not my good dagger. Um, to, <laughs> it's one of the one of the crappy ones to yeah. try to pry. Why is uh, Enda doing this? Loose the rubies. I don't uh, know. The uh, the Enda makes her way over to kind of supervise. Uh, mm. You pop out the daggers. <laughs> uh, it's it takes very. It, they they basically it's like Lego bricks. They pop right out. So Monty's um, right. <laughs> you know, each of them is is decent size. Each of them is probably uh, a little bit bigger than Flessa's head. Um, oh, Flessa, do you want to give me a quick dungeoneering check on these? Dungeoneering? Do I ever? <laughs> <laughs> That's a ten. Uh, you know what? With a ten, you're you're like you're you're like gonna put these in your bag to climb back down. Mm-hmm. Um, the weight on them does not feel quite right for rubies. Mm. Mm. I actually toss one of them at Enda and say, "Catch! This uh, seems wrong." <laughs> Enda catches it. Uh, I'm gonna tell you specifically. She catches it. But seems like a little bit surprised by it too. Uh, I'm going to tell you that you are suspicious, um, uh, Flessa. Or I mean, mm-hmm. you can decide if you are suspicious. Yeah. You mm-hmm. have a you have a a feeling that this is not a ruby and that it is just red colored glass. Yeah. Is it is it carved into facets so that it sparkles? Yes. I still like it. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brawler, what's the deal um, with your eyeballs up there? Yeah, I think this might be glass, I say, as I skate down the statue. I don't know anything about it. Put it in the I, other statue. I'll use intimidation on him to try to see if there's anything of value in this room that we should take. Um, For his life, of course. Okay. Are you doing it? Are you putting it in the other statue? I think he's right. Enda is, uh, Enda is inspecting the, uh, the, the, the eye that has been tossed to her, and she looks completely dejected. This is not what I thought it was. Nineteen I, for intimidate. I'm I'm climbing Bra- the other Bra- statue the now. Kind of collapses in front of you, Akrid. I don't know anything. Look, the the shocker. He had a book. That's that's the only thing that's worthwhile in here. Ooh, a book. Can I leave now? Go go get. Not yet. No, you can't leave. Fless, are I... you going to stick the <laughs> stones into the other statue's eyeballs? Somebody told me to. You know me. Yep. Okay. What's what's the point, Fless? Of uh, tosses the uh, the eye back oh, at you and starts kind of pacing back and forth by the door. I All sprint right. into the room. Where's this book everyone's talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's by the shocker. It's by the shocker. Enjoy. There's uh, the, the two uh, lizard skull priest. Uh, lizard skull? That's not a word. Lizard folk. Okay. Um, priest type people are in either corner of this room. Uh, you notice, Malik, that one of them, there's, there's a, a book next he's, to the slumped he's form. He's zoomed through. He's Hi, ran boss. faster. Hey. I say from the top of the statue. Good work with those... Uh, rubies and killing that thing i thought we all did really well i don't think they're rubies well you know but they're they sure are pretty peter are you feeling okay peter wanders outside walks up to a lestrin hey buddy how you doing (laughs) uh that's a really bad room you did great in there uh and do you mean in the room or inside the champion (laughs) both (laughs) thanks you're sort of in a room in a room for a while uh, that though. yeah you're not in that room at all i don't like you're the smartest of all of them don't no, don't go I'm, in there i'm i'm not going in that room it's really bad this room's fine i'm gonna I'm, the, and then the turtle P- gives peter, you a knowing way cholesterol <laughs> peter peter <laughs> hugs elestrin elestrin <laughs> now is covered in goo <laughs> i rather awkwardly give you a perfunctory <laughs> pat on the back and then wipe your <laughs> hand off on something i hope <laughs> on your back <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Malik, give me an Arcana or Religion check on this book. Okay, uh, that will be probably Arcana because of my wizardly uh, thing. 
All right. Uh, a second. Stalling, stalling, stalling. Mm-hmm. I rolled a seven, so I have a total of 19. All right. You study uh, this ritual book, and you know uh, that this chamber was being used as some kind of sacrificial chamber where the lizard folk were sacrificing. It seems like from the logs here, um, there were, there's like tally marks. <laughs> Over a hundred creatures have been sacrificed uh, and fed to the champion, and that it seems like it's some kind of ritual to open up a portal to the Great Swamp, uh, where whatever creature these lizard folk worship would then come through into this world and oh. usher forth a new, better world for the lizard folk that would take them out of Undermountain and into the streets of Waterdeep, and that everything would just be really great for them oh so now, we save, we save doing... the world yay yeah, yeah. <laughs> would they Good be news, doing everybody? that by moving the eyes from one statue to the other <laughs> there is zero mention of the statues okay. and eyes okay good. so alligator yeah, in the sewers that was their plan yeah okay all right well i like how organized and they've already these kind guys of are pierced the veil to that realm a little bit which is how there is like right swampy, there's swampy elements. stuff here yeah yeah but they need to like you know, just just like when you start killing a crocodile by poking a couple holes in it, then you've really got to, like, tear <laughs> open a, a, a dragonborn-sized hole for it to really, mm -hmm. things to really get going. So, um, uh, that was Melek. Rizwin, did you want to do something that you were Yeah, describing? I wanted to, to roll a religion check to see if there's any way that maybe we could close this portal, see if it's still open. Also, when, you, when you said you checked the logs, Tony, do you mean the log book or uh, some other sort of log, or do you mean literally they were making marks on a log? <laughs> they, there's they, a log right there on the map. Yeah, <laughs> there's a log. That is a. Uh, I just I enjoy that the log that we thought was an alligator is in fact a log, literally yeah. like a log book <laughs> log. It's just covered in little tally marks. Yeah, the log is nature's abacus, and this one is is covered in little tally marks, as as Monty said. So yes, correct. But also, there's a book. Also, there's a book. Um, so there's a the book. Books. The book says, "See appendix log." Um, <laughs> so. so um, Yes. So, uh, Rizwin, you're studying. It seems like probably you have greatly inconvenienced uh, the ritual by killing all the people in this room. Um, mm -hmm. And that they would, in fact, they would still need to, to uh, it looks but like based on the information Melek has gained and what they've done so far, they would still need to sacrifice somewhere in the order of dozens of people to make okay. this happen. Uh, so by not dying, you are you are helping Great. Dump, uh, maybe dump like, out those those pots. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe I could purify the swamp water, or perhaps. Do you um, think they're healing water though? One of the no, they're not. <laughs> doesn't bad, look like it. I already water. looked at that. Okay. Um, so maybe I can purify the water, or I can dump out the blood. Okay, let's say that you do that. Peter okay. walk, walks over did, did to the uh, dumping out the blood. Does not require a check. Give me a okay. religion check to purify the water. Okay, twenty six natural twenty. Yeah, the, the water is now safe to drink. I drink it. It's, <laughs> it's cool and refreshing. Might as well. Excellent. Did anything happen when they swapped eyes for the statues? No, one, no, no one's done that yet. Peter, I I, was Peter gives the turtle a little scratch <sighs> and, and <sighs> says, hey, hey there, how you doing? You, do, you doing okay? <laughs> the turtle looks, looks at you fondly. I mean, Plessa has been up there doing, doing those eyes for a, a while. <laughs> you guys keep derailing things from Plessa. <laughs> so, Plessa has slowly... You know, it's harder to climb a statue with two uh, big Giant. head sized um, <laughs> eyes than you'd think. Look, Plessa, yeah, give me, I, give me I, an I acrobatic check. I am playing a paladin who just had a life-threatening <laughs> trauma, okay? He's a little yeah, dazed. but what about the money, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, I, I climb up and uh, I'll check this one for traps. All right, give me a perception mm. check. <laughs> That's good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this one's actually, this is actually Did you better. check the other one for traps? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, 23. Uh, this st statue seems free of traps. Uh, <laughs> you do, as you're inspecting it, uh, inspecting the statue that you believe to be free of traps, that is also right next to Melek and Rizwin. No reason I would mention that. Um, <laughs> you also notice that the uh, there do it looks like in the empty sockets of the eyes, there do seem to be some kind of little mechanism. There's some sort of something in inside the the empty eyes, so I'm gonna put these in here, like Hang I on. was told. Hey, hold on, hold on. Wait, okay, should we ask the brawler what happens first? I have no idea what you people are doing. 
I'm going to shift over next to the pool, by the way, and yeah, away from the statue. Bro, <laughs> uh, says, can, can we stand in the other room? I don't no. like this. Flessa, why don't you come down oh. here and let me put them in with Mage Hand? Yeah, let's okay. all leave. Can okay. you put something that Or maybe we can, like, I... disarm whatever it is. Can I, can I put one of them in? Bringing the brawler with me. Uh, but I will, I will, I will climb back down. And I'm gonna pour purified water into the swamp water just to see if it will also purify the the larger swamp here. I don't, I don't think that's how water works. <laughs> okay, can I roll a religion check to try and purify this Osmosis water? Osmosis check. Sure. <laughs> Diffusion check. Great. A ten. Uh, you you know you try a little bit, but it that like that's gonna be a lot of work. Like <sighs> a lot of people were murdered and dumped in this pond, and also a giant crocodile lives there. So. Hey. Like well, that not would anymore. Be, I mean, well, yeah, well those... in fact, worse. <laughs> so, <laughs> lived and died there. <laughs> so, um, or there's just a giant so a dead a crocodile pit. there. Those yeah. people probably are still in the pond, just in a slightly different form. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna put a pin in that one and remind myself to come back here to purify this pool later. I'm just saying, there's probably a lot of like not great pools out there in the world if you want to go and purify all of them. Like, I don't know if you want to spend like a day working on this one. Um, Anybody want a drink of clean water from this basin? <laughs> Looks great. Everyone seems to be edging yeah. away from the statues. <laughs> uh, cool. Peter uh, Peter goes off in a little quiet corner and gets down on his knees brawler. and pray gives a prayer to Bahamut, thanking him for sparing him uh, and using Acrid as uh, as his vessel, as his dragony vessel, to save him. Um, and I'm going to roll a religion check, Tony, uh, out of the faith that it means something. Because I'm a, I'm a religious paladin, and uh, that is a twenty, and that's Ooh. great. Surely you have not fulfilled whatever purpose Bahamut has placed you on this plane of existence to deal with, and that is why you continue to persevere. Yep. Pe and Peter stands it is only up, through reengage doing with the good world. works in his names mm -hmm. that you will cling to the thing yep. that you call life. Yes, and, so. and Alestrin, and perhaps even Rizwin, since uh, she's come around the corner, notices that Peter stands up and seems uh, clearer and back to his old self. But still filthy. Oh, the stinking bad. It's bad, man. It's bad. But he's right, himself. Flessa, you have climbed down from the statue. You have yeah. handed the giant rubies to Melek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Melek, they are... Uh, disconcerting because though they are pleasingly slightly larger than your orb um, and they are spherical, uh, they're faceted so they don't have that smooth kind of bowling ball shape that you you, you admire in an orb. These are all bumpy with edges. Okay. Sparkles. Uh, well, Mage Hand has a range of five squares and mm -hmm. I can do things that are 20 pounds. So These are 18 pound fake rubies. Great. I will uh, pop one into one of the eye sockets. All right. Uh, give me a quick, uh, you know, it's a little awkward to operate a, um, a, a ruby with a mage hand. Uh, give me a quick thievery check. It doesn't have to be very high. Thievery? Thievery. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing? Yeah. It, it sure is. is. Hmm. It's great. Four E. <laughs> a total of 11. All right. It, it's in. Click. It kind of snaps into place pleasingly. I do the same thing with the other fake ruby and the other empty eye socket. You don't want to put it in the same eye socket as the first one? No. Well, guys, you can tell Monty has worked for Wizards of the Coast. He knows all the, <laughs> all the, all the Dungeons & Dragons tip, cheat expert, codes. Expert, pro tip. Bring yeah, her. he's one of those, I know that there's only one eye per eye socket. I've been around the bend. So, all right. Monty, give me another thievery check on that. Um thing T total of 17 all right your eye your eye your hand your magic hand carries hand the ruby eye across the horrible uh chamber of sacrifice and slaughter floats up to the uh eyeless s laughing statue and the giant ruby snaps into place the mouth of the statue swings open and gold pieces pour out of it there's now a small pile of gold pieces at the feet of the laughing statue. Getting smaller all the time. <laughs> Scrap. <laughs> <laughs> um, Flessa, you were just like holding out of your bag and the money is pouring <laughs> into it. Does that feel heavy as it's supposed to be? Yes, it feels. They, these seem to be gold pieces and not imitation gold pieces. I will uh, trot Fle them back to Melek and be like, here, boss. And Enda says, <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> 
And is like, wait, wait, wait. What? It was for the rubies. She can get the rubies back. Yeah, I uh, only one I of them though. Say. We're keeping the other one. Yeah. I don't Flessa, think. We... Uh, Flessa slash Malik. There's a good two thousand gold pieces there. Wow, nice. That's too heavy for uh, me to carry all by myself. I'll carry it for you if you need. I can help with that. We'll give you eight hundred pounds. Every everyone's happy to help carry the money. <laughs> <laughs> now, if Enda had not been here, several of us would now be dead. Malik, are you That's saying this in character as Monty? I'm saying this in character. Okay. And if Enda nods her head. Here, we wouldn't be here. Well, we met, we had a deal. I assume she says. Uh, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm still playing her a little bit. No, okay. So <laughs> yes, you know, the deal fi- was ha- for fa- ha- one ruby, fifty fifty. Okay, you can have both rubies, and I'm, I'll take all the gold, <laughs> or we can split the gold. And, Look, and what did she say to that, Jason? You've got both sides of the <laughs> argument. You're doing great. <laughs> P- Peter Dragonforge, meanwhile, is standing out in the hallway going like, have you ever really looked at your hand? It's like, <laughs> oh, it's- are, you t- are you asking the turtle? Uh, so <laughs> I think just to be clarified, currently, I think Peter is unaware of this incident. Yes. Uh, well, uh, let's just assume everybody else is. So Malik, uh and Malik and Riz- uh, I don't see how a could possibly there. be aware of it yeah. because a yeah. is far away. He's got those elven eyes and he's got those elven ears that are attuned to the sound uh, okay, of all right. falling money. Tinkling gold coins. Yeah. So, what? so uh, Acrid and Rizwin and Fles- and uh, sorry, Acrid, Rizwin and, and Alestrin, you probably, you saw a pile of money. Uh, Flessa and Melek, you know how much. Uh, Enda is there, but obviously there are five of you, um, or m- there are a decent number of you. So, um, you know, she's, she's not going to press things. Also, you know, she's been pretty close to death herself today. So does this count as more than five minutes, by the way? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cast a heal on myself, or another heal word. Uh, Brawler you. says, look, it seems like you people have this all figured out. I should just be going. <laughs> no, the- no. Mm. Our safe passage is your safe passage. We survived this, then you survived this. I'm going to carry the money out of the room. Mm-hmm. Look around for Pete. Oh, there you are. Hey Peter, <laughs> how, hey. how you doing, buddy? Hey, hey. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. Uh, that was very brave and heroic of you in there. I thought. I've, by the way, I mean, really, I just got eaten. I wasn't trying. It just kind of happened. <laughs> well, heroism gets thrust on. Listen, here's the deal. Mm-hmm. Um, you are kind of our moral compass. So, what should we do about this? And I show him a bag of two thousand gold. Uh, probably oh. donate it to the Bahamut uh, Foundation, I think, for the poor. You clearly of asked Waterdeep. the wrong person. Uh, that's reasonable. My question, though, is uh, we were sp- going to split the rubies. It's not clear to me whether we were splitting the rubies or the loot with Enda. And if we were splitting the loot, then half of this is hers. Well, given that our initial agreement with her was to share 50-50, I think that we should honor our agreement. I mean, quite frankly, if we hadn't wanted to honor our agreement, we could have just killed her and left. And since we have come this far and sacrificed so much, and he looks at his completely filthy shield, which is still, there's Bahamut under there somewhere, but there's a lot of goo and a lot of blood, uh, we should probably honor our agreement all, all the way. All right. Thank you. Uh, hey, Enda. Hey, Paladin says you should stand by your agreements. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> With the woman who is sending or- or- orphans and urchins to uh, to test traps. I wasn't responsible for that, but I wasn't supervising people very closely either. Uh, Enda scurries over to where Malik is. So what's the deal? Uh, I think you get half of this and then we all leave. Like right uh, now. More than generous. Uh, tell you what, uh, I'm going to take, you know what? That's too generous. It's been a rough day. I'm only alive because of you. Uh, I'll take 800. Also, she can't carry more than 800. (laughs) 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 Uh, um, I'm going to take 800 and I'm going to ask the brawler some questions about where, maybe where the rest of my crew might be. Do you need us for that? You don't think, I don't think you do, do you? I don't think you, I don't think so. But let me tell you my idea about, uh, the chieftain's lair off to the east there. This does not seem like a time to press your luck, if you know what I mean. No whammies. Let's get out of here. Indeed. You sure you want us to leave you down here with this dude? I'll be fine. 
Okay. Okay, bye. She's, she starts sharpening some daggers. Maybe we should carry that 800 up for you since uh, you know, no, we'll I'll see you at the surface. So, uh, please mark down, Melek, you're carrying 1,200 team gold. That I sounds mean, safe. Um, <laughs> okay. How heavy is 1,200 gold? Uh, I don't think gold weighs that much. <laughs> some versions of D&D, coins don't weigh anything. Yeah. Nice. Is that how but, coins work? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you mine gold, it's very heavy. So what you should do is have a mint right at the mine mm. because it'll be easy to transport once it weighs nothing because it's in coin format. Dungeons Magical Dragons, gold. Dragons, economics. Um, <laughs> it's really just one 1,000 gold piece coin and two hundreds. In 5e, a uh, 50 coins weighs a pound. So... Mm. I'm not Good going thing to we're do not math. playing five E, but this yeah. is four E. Yeah, so they weigh nothing. Um, yes, I don't know. Someone, none dumb. of you have a bag of holding at this point. Magical no. gold. Yes, no, we're level, level four. All right. Are we getting out of here? Okay. Yes, yes, we are. Why don't Which you? Go? So, Enda pointed you to the west. Mm -hmm. uh, go west. The... Climb over rubble. Stairs up to Lost Temple. Above that is warehouse. There's a turtle that's trapped. Let's save the turtle and then. GTFO. <laughs> you could spend hours moving rubble outside the yeah, chieftain's I think, inner sanctum. I think to we free tried that earlier. What is too. probably his turtle. Um, or you could run away. The turtle How looks kind of turtle... happy. How much Turtles... time would it take to get the, to clear the rubble the, that leads to the stairwell? A, an equally long amount of time. Oh. Can we climb over the rubble? Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm let's do just... that. I'm going to cut up some of the crocodile and throw it to feed the turtles. Do, I, and then they'll be happy. <laughs> All right, you do that. The crocodile, the turtle looks at you somewhat confused. Can you assemble your tokens by the stairs so that I can copy and paste them to the next can map? I, can I peel off some alligator skin with my mage yeah, hand? Pete, yes. Peter, Peter uh, looks longingly into the room thinking that he might carve off a little trophy from the alligator skin and then decides he's never going in that room again and climbs over the rock. All right. I will agree. Uh, I would recommend for, a tooth anyway. That'll last yeah. longer. For skinning the champion, when you get back to the surface, all of you will get either magic boots or magic belt. Let me know which Yay, one you prefer. alligator Ooh. boots. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So there's six of you, right? That's how many of you still are? It's been mm -hmm. kind of touch and go for a bit here. There's six uh, of us still. So, Can't kill us uh, yet. As foretold by Enda, uh, beyond the rubble to the west, uh, there is kind of a back entrance to this horrible lizard folk um, a uh, temple. Beyond the, um, beyond the rubble, there's a set of double doors. And beyond those double doors is a spiral staircase leading up. It has been so long since you went up anywhere. It feels weird. Um, Can I check for traps on this? Yes, that's recommended. Great. What is my perception? Uh, Probably better than mine. 17. I am going to move you to the next map. And you so do get a plus one to perception if you're close enough to a Lestrin. 18. You so far have seen no traps on the staircase. Great. All right. So you are heading up the spiral staircase. It spirals for quite some time, which, you know, it's tiring climbing the staircase. But at the same time, it is comforting to be drawing ever closer to the surface. Let us say at some point you take a five minute break on the staircase after you feel like you are, you know, a ways away from the lizard folk territory and engage in, in, in another round of healing. If so needed, this is a short rest, not a long rest. Does anybody want a healing word? I would love healing that does not require me to take a healing surge, but otherwise I'm going to be okay because I um I only have one healing surge left, I think. Okay, uh, all all of my healing powers. Left, so. I mean, if I roll a heal check, can I like give people? The you can. Back? It is very unusual. There, I think, until you get to much higher levels. Uh, okay. There will not be spells that allow you to heal without a, without the person spending a surge. There are occasionally things for paladins and I think clerics where they spend a surge and the person receives stuff, but yeah. even those are usually not a ton of them I lying have, around. Um, I have two left, so I'm going to take one, and if you've got a bonus to give me, that would be great. I you can give you a 1d6 plus 1 bonus. Great, yes, Do please. It. I assume aspiring word and healing word are similar bonuses. Three. 
you get a three for a bonus. Okay, great. I'm a so let me just now. just assess: Is anybody still bloodied at this stage of things? No, no. Peter, nope. Nope. Okay, Akrid, you're good. Seems I'm not yeah. bothering to check in on Alestrin and Melon, who have never, have never, who are not, so far, we are not even certain if they have blood inside them. <laughs> I have taken so much damage, I, by the way. I it's know, true. I know. I'm being a jerk, Monty. Um, um, so. And when I take any damage, it breaks me in half. <laughs> yes, you are willowy. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, you uh, climb the staircase. Uh, you know your your legs are burning as you've climbed up. It must be flights and flights of stairs until finally the spiral staircase ceases to spiral, and you find yourselves at a landing. There is a short hallway and a set of wooden double doors at double the doors. end of the hallway. Do I have a dwarven sense of what level of Undermountain we're on? You think that, you know, you were pretty deep on, in fact, probably if you were in Undermountain, you know, there were statues of Halaster Black Cloak, so it seems like you were in Undermountain, but some of the areas you were in before were even just kind of caverns beneath Undermountain. You were pretty deep. You think you're probably a lot closer to the, the upper levels at this point. That cave-in cool. sent you pretty deep. So, first off, uh, just uh, logistical, can everybody see the map and see themselves on the map? You may have to scroll down a bunch. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. So you see a, you see stairs, you see a hallway, you and see the doors. doors, yeah, and Dumbledores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, what do you want to do? Um, I would like to check for traps on these doors. Yeah, all right. Uh, Twenty one. These doors are free of traps. Fantastic. Do I hear they anything? They are also locked. They are also quiet beyond. Okay. Hey, Flessa, can you pick this lock? I can try. Thank you. Peter backs that up. That is a 20. Uh, Flessa, you have no trouble picking the lock. I back away from the door. Okay. It, it's unlocked. I'm, I'm going to take there a There may be peek. some uh, new trying to figure out what the roles are now that Peter Dragonforge is, you know. I can open the door. Little gun shy. Oh. I can I'm open the door. I just don't usually get to. You're hey, do you want to open the door? Flessa, Flessa, you always want to open wants, Flessa always wants to do stuff. Usually okay. I'm just told not to. <laughs> Be sneaky and peek in. Okay. All right. I will roll a stealth check. So, oh, that's a crappy stealth check. That's a 14. All right. The door creaks uh, and you open uh, to see a chamber beyond. No, no! statues. The room oh, beyond the <laughs> is full of statues. There's a uh, there's a good dozen or so statues uh, cluttering up this uh, medium sized <laughs> square chamber. Uh, each statue depicts it looks like some kind of adventure: dwarves and elves and humans, even a few tieflings. Some are clearly wizards and rogues and paladins, while others are kind of worn away. It's a little less clear what 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 they are, but they're each of them is kind of depicted depicted frozen in a moment of agony um Ugh. so yeah room full of statues uh this room is kind of cluttered with these statues there's not kind of a clear path across this room you do see another set of wooden dumbledores or double doors if you will <laughs> on the other <laughs> side of the room does it look like they were frozen or like in place like they were trying to get out of this room and then maybe you were turned to stone uh give me your perception check Sure. Nope, that's uh, uh, D6. I want a D20 plus 6. Yeah. 17. Uh, you know, they all look uh, like they're in pain. Um, hmm. They do not look in flight. I think that was like you were like, are they trying to run or something like did that? Yeah, answer or is it, uh, kind of like, are they, does it look like they were frozen in place? Like, like petrified in here, petrified here, or were they petrified elsewhere and just stored here? Let me, let me ask you a question that I, Tony Sindelar, I'm asking you about statues. How okay. easy is it to tell if a statue was made here versus made somewhere else if, and, lo and, and if transported they're here? Running in the same direction, like, or if they're all like, I don't they know. Do not, they have, they're like, not similar... all running in the same direction. Tony. Like, um, okay. I'm sorry. Sure. Um, I see that there are six demon icons and five angel icons. Are the actual statues divided up that way? I had an. Ass I only had two statue tokens. Okay. Um, there's an assortment of people. Okay. 
I'd like to look at the floor in this room and see if uh, there's any. All right. Give me a perception check, Alustrian. I shall. That is an uh, perception, perception. That's a 23. Uh, it's fine dwarven craftsmanship. It's the floriest floor you've ever floored. I'm floored. Yeah. Oh. They, they, you know, this looks like a real standard floor. You know, nice square grids, uh, nice and level. Um, surprisingly free of uh, scuff marks, maybe that you might expect from statues being dragged around. Um, you do I would not also see like any to suspicious up panels. At the ceiling. Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> All right, give me a quick perception check on that sure. ceiling. Uh, that is a fifteen. Uh, it looks pretty standard ceiling. Uh, Peter is going to do. Check? Peter's going to do an Arcana check <laughs> yeah, on this room. A Arca little little Arcana check, and he gets a seven. Yep. seventeen. All right. Uh, Peter, do you want to stand up in the doorway to do that or back nope. in the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> i get a little closer. Uh, just enough to see a uh, see in there, but I'm not walking in. All right. It, all right. You're in the you're in the you're at the threshold. Yeah. Um, Peter, you do not detect anything arcane about this room. No magic I here. Lay For traps like on the floor inside. Uh, Alestrian carefully inspected the floor and did not see okay. any traps. Can I can I notice that Alestrian looked up at the ceiling and also look at the ceiling? Sure. <laughs> right. A Guys, 16. let's live here. <laughs> in, the, in this entryway. <laughs> Do I see anything problematic about the ceiling? Uh, nope. The ceiling seems fine. I'm going to perceive the, the, the west wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's an eight, only an eight. Uh, you know, Peter, it's you've had a day. It seems like a wall. <laughs> Guys, wall. You know. <laughs> that wall looks okay. It checks out. Is there any other place that this stair well like led to, like other nope. levels? Can we go this somewhere was, else? This yeah, you, there is a door beyond the statue uh chamber if you want to not stay in the statue chamber forever. We this is presumably the lost temple we were told that we would be going to. Mm. Unless we are already at the warehouse and this is just a statue warehouse. This does not <laughs> seem oh, maybe to it is. <laughs> This does not seem what? to meet what you would expect a statue warehouse to look like. Are they like a bunch of life size? It's a whole bunch oh, of yeah. statues. Life size? They are life size. Yeah, for Mardi Gras. Yeah. Lovely. Plus, uh, is there, or anybody, is there any way you can maybe tumble to the other side of the room or Tony, cautiously sure. enter? Tony, I'm going to do, do an insight check on the nearest statue to me to see if I can understand more about what form this takes and who it is and why you can't do an insight check on a statue on a statue to get insight <laughs> what can that's i not, yeah. this is this is a classic total party kill moment not what insight does <laughs> what does insight do i'm trying to figure out what the heck's insight going on here i i figuring I'm gonna, out I'm people are lying insight to you. for you to tell me what what the right thing to do is here <laughs> are you rolling insight on the dungeon master <laughs> yeah and i got a 23 so tell me <laughs> 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 Automatic fail. <laughs> I don't the know. dungeon master is enig enigmatic and un unperceivable. What is Peter reality? Peter Dragonforge shrugs. <laughs> hey, I you I know what? Also, a, I mean, Jason, I could tell you, but it wouldn't help because Peter Dragonforge wouldn't know. Yeah, um, that's true. I rolled a critical on my Google the wiki for insight. Would you like <laughs> to hear it? Sure. Yes. You can discern intent and decipher body language during social interactions. I would like to point out the statue has extremely limited body language. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they are they what are frozen and opposed, does right? Does he look like? It's just pain. You can tell how well you're doing in a social situation. <laughs> yeah. I walk into the room. I was just oh, about yeah. to do that. <laughs> yep. Yay! Melek steps Get into up there, the room, Lestrin. and so does Flessa immediately because um, her boss Melek, there is a little bit of Melek and Flessa step into the room. There's a little bit of space uh, before it's just you know stacked with statues. You're standing in it. Nothing happens to you. Yet. Now, do you want me to tumble to the other side of the room? Malik steps forward further. Malik mm -hmm. is squeezing between the statues, sick of all of this, sick of his friends. Flessa follows close beyond. Slowly, Malik. Yep. Slowly. <laughs> Reference acknowledged. <laughs> I, I've got a teleport ring that can send me to anywhere in Undermountain. Does Flessa Ooh. have one of those? <laughs> nope. No, okay. I think that's just fine. Mal Malik just thinking if something bad were to happen, where, where are you thinking about in Undermountain that you would go to? Um, just back into the hallway. The, the bottom mm -hmm. of the yawning portal. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. There's an elevator right, right to there. a bar. 
So Melek <laughs> boldly strides into the statue room. You know, it's it's you got to squeeze between some strat- statues at places to get there. Uh, but he kind of zigzags across the room, finding gaps between the various uh, heroic adventures struck forever in these frozen poses and makes his way to the opposite door. Uh, Flessa is right behind Malik, following his steps. Alestrin steps into the room and looks like he's sidestepping off to find another path. Peter no, and Rizwin gonna... still stand in the doorway. Akron I'm is come far to you. behind. All right, Rizwin, making your way across the room. Oh, I made it. All right, <laughs> Alestrin still still waiting. Alestrin starts creeping across the room. All of you are heading there, yet no one has yet opened the door on the other side of the chamber. I will when I'm told. All right. Lessa, can you check for traps in that door? I can try. Eleven. Is the door locked? The door is uh, uh, not trapped, Flessa. It does appear to be locked. Akrid still waits in the hallway, uncertain about what's going to happen. All right. Yep. I will try to pick the lock. Please that try. is a 21. Uh, you have no trouble picking the lock. Should I open it? I say to Melek. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to roll a stealth check again, just because I tried to open mm-hmm. the last one sneakily. And, oh, that's better than last time. So that is 25. Uh, all right. You open the door. It creaks. Just a little. And you, uh, but not too much. Okay. And you see a long hallway beyond. As you open the doors, the doors in front of Akrid's face <gasps> snap shut. That's annoying. Oh, should I close the door again? Yeah, try that. I close the doors again. <clears throat> uh, just the, y- your doors are now closed. What about Akrid? Akrid, you are on the other. You are now in a hallway with a closed door between you and your oh. friends. Try Hello? opening it again. Akrid, anyone there? You can try opening it. I try to open the door. It's locked. <laughs> What's the door made of? Uh, wood. And what's the lock made of? Uh, metal. I I spit on the lock. Oh god! All no, right, we can't. <laughs> it's gonna be real hard to unlock it now. Yep. Um, but that the, the lock feels bad, and that's what you wanted. Uh, <laughs> I think we determined with that size that your 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 breath doesn't actually dissolve. Uh, oh doesn't yeah, dissolve I metal. Last time. Oh well. <laughs> I spit on uh, it anyways, just to. <laughs> So can you knock it down? I'll try to smash it. All right, give me a strength check. 20. All right, the wood starts splintering, and the door is like half off its frames. All of you are standing in a room full of statues with all of the doors closed as one of the doors is being beaten down by an angry dragonborn. Uh, Do you want to do anything or just wait for Akra to smash smash down a door? No, I'm going to pick this lock again. Okay. I'll, I'll smash assuming it's the locked. Door while Plus, she so you're the picking lock. the lock um, right there where you are. Did that yes. lock again? And if it locked, it did, if it, it, did, it did lock. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, that's eighteen. No, uh, I a chamber with no windows and you no have picked, doors. You have picked the lock. Do you want to open the door? Uh, yes. Boss, should I open the door? I look yes. up at Melik. Yeah. Okay. All right. You've opened the door. I'm just going to slide the door piece over here. Can I, can I'm I gonna... leave this room now? Can we go? All yeah, right, but as soon as Melek gets out, I'm also... All right. I'm well, checking I'll... for traps as I walk along in the corridor. Okay. I will stay by the door. Um, so, Rizwin, give me a quick uh, trap check. Uh, Akron, at this point, you have broken through the door. Okay. I, I, I huddled go really quickly to <laughs> everyone else. I'm a little shell-shocked. I have right. abandonment issues. Yeah. Uh, Rizwin, Nine. you got a 19. Rizwin, yeah. uh, not too far down the passageway, you can see that there are several tiles in the floor. Uh, they're large. They're, it seems like most of the floor, let me paint on the map a little bit, uh, looks like it has some, uh, you know, pressure plates. Hey, Flessa, can you do anything about pressure plates? I can try. And I so, point out uh, where the pressure point, plates are. Yeah, point point where where there's a thing. Right, right there. Okay, so I will go up to here and I will investigate thievily and <laughs> try to use my thievery skills to disarm whatever this pressure plate tries to yep. do. 
All right. That is a 23. All right. You have disabled one of the pressure plates. You managed to like wedge a little metal pin in there such that it will no longer be a but pressure plate. Okay. Still seven of them? There are many more up ahead. Uh, probably you don't need to clear all of them, but maybe you want to clear a path. Maybe Let's we could just go single file. That sounds Hold great. On. Okay. Let's do that. So I will hop onto this one and try to do the next one. If anybody's mm -hmm. got some random like pieces of metal, now's the time to pull them out because I'm going to need a bunch. We have a whole bunch of gold coins. Yeah. Got yeah. A lot. We probably also have some like copper coins, which might even work better, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, Are you crazy? I'm not carrying copper. What do I look like? <laughs> I, I probably have some copper. Uh, 14. Uh, you think that that was successful. Okay. Then I step forward onto it to All do right. the next one. Flessa, you hear a creaking noise and a <laughs> blade on a pendulum swings down from a slot in the ceiling in the direction of your head. Give wow. me an acrobatics check. Okie dokie. 19. All right, you cling to the wall and the blade slices through the path where you were. <laughs> it reaches the arc of the pendulum and goes back. And instead of cleanly uh, sliding back into the slot in the ceiling, it looks like this trap is a little bit old and it doesn't quite line up. It creaks and there's it clatters against the ceiling and a giant pendulum blade and a metal arm clatter to the ground of the tunnel. <laughs> it looks like some of the parts of this trap are rusted out. Um, so, Did good it, news. But <laughs> you you have sprung part of the trap, just like you Did planned. It land on any of the other pressure plates? No, we'll say they're for, they're down here. Okay. All right. Was this trap designed to protect their statue room from people <laughs> coming north? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to do the uh the next one. All right. Let's, let's see if I can roll better uh this time. That is a 20. Okay, you think you have disabled that trap? All right. And I'll step forward onto it. Mm -hmm. This time, like, this time I'm, I'm ready to hop out of the way. Seems, uh, seems nothing happens. All right. You got one, one panel left. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, 15. Uh, all right. You are, you, you feel like you probably got that one. All right. Well, I step forward onto it timidly. I'm ready to jump. You think you hear some weird kind of rusty noises in the ceiling above, but nothing happens. You can now see that you are um, close to the, you can now see a, another, yet another Dumbledore at the end of the hallway. <laughs> All right. Is that I, what you I people need very... to hear? Does that make you happy? Yes. Yes. No. I look very closely at each floor tile before I step onto it to see if there's anything to disable. Um, All right. So, um, you have traversed the Hall of Blades. Uh, there's a big, this set of double doors is a little bit different. It is made of stone, and Ooh. it looks like there's something written in it, Flessa. I don't know what languages you speak, so I'm not sure if you can read it or not. You know what? I don't think I can read any languages, even the ones I speak. That's efficient. I'm, I'm going to yep. take a look at it and see if I can read there's it. There's words here, sure. boss. You guys like words. I sure do. It's, it's the show me the money elven thing. Hmm. So, yeah, words. All uh, right. So, Flessa has cleared a path through the traps that you could now yeah. uh, you walk, could on go. Those, walk on those bricks, please. I speak common and giant for some reason, which is hilarious. Mm. Huh. Oh, I common and com dwarven. Common and draconic. Uh oh. I have common and chat. goblin. Giant's just common, but you have to talk really loud. Yeah. Actually, there's, I, there's a can, link. <laughs> okay, they're a long way from the ground. Uh, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'll Dungeons and Dragons play. There's actually a link between the dwarven and giant language because the dwarves were imprisoned by the giants for so long. Um, cool. Can I can I roll like a knowledge check or something yeah. to recognize what language it is? All right. So, uh, Flessa, maybe? Rizwin, uh, Melek, and Peter are up at the double doors leading into somewhere else. It looks like an Akrid and a Lustrin are bringing up the rear. So, Rizwin, um, why don't you give me, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's probably just a knowledge check. Uh, so there is no knowledge in, skill. You can, mean just like intelligence? intelligence? Yeah, how about intelligence? Not wisdom? Not wisdom. It doesn't uh, need to be that okay. high. Uh, 11? You know, you're having... It looks like there are some stuff written here 
in Dwarven. Uh, the I speak is, Dwarven. You do speak Dwarven, and you read Dwarven, perhaps more importantly, in yeah. these circumstances. The the script, though, is, it's, it's like, it's, the language is, like, very flowy and kind of ornate for how it's worked into this stone. Um, so it's a little hard to make out what exactly it says, but you think it says something about Maybe there's some kind of warning or advisory or caution or exaltation or excitement about Can I roll a history check. Yeah, about okay. some number of trials beyond, and it seems like the number that comes up a couple times in here is you feel pretty certain about that five. There's probably five of something in this room Four beyond. Fourteen knowledge jelly history beans. Check. <laughs> Fourteen Ooh. history check. Yeah. Uh, you are not familiar with anything related to uh, five trials in Dwarven history, or history in okay. general. Okay. It's probably something specific to the function of uh, these chambers that you're in. Okay. It does seem particularly ornate Dwarven craftsmanship on this big, fancy stone door. Seems old. Fine Dwarven I, craftsmanship. Fine I relay, Dwarven craftsmanship. I relay the message to everybody else. I can count to five. Can you check for traps? <laughs> yes. Great. Maybe this door is locked too. Um, I check for traps. I'm not sure I'm any better at checking for traps than than you are. Uh, that's, uh, oh, I lawyer well, rolled rolled well, so twenty two plus one. <laughs> <Can I think? laughs> the uh, the I, door is neither locked nor trapped. Well, I rolled a ten for checking for traps, so. It, Thankfully, it's not Flossa even, rolled better. It's not even locked. Let's go in. Anybody have any objection? Do you want me to sneakily open it again? Sounds great. I hope it doesn't sound like anything, because I'm trying to be sneaky. Be sneaky. Uh, I believe in you. <laughs> 19. And so the doors swing open, revealing a strange temple-like chamber beyond. Huge sets of stone doors uh, are in the corner of this little square room leading to who knows what. Uh, one of them already is standing there ajar. The floor is covered in dwarven runes. What is missing from here is any kind of obvious exit sign. And in fact, you're now placed with the annoying situation of four doors that you have to deal with. Who doesn't love doors? Um, will they find the way out? Are they going to be trapped in Under Mountain forever? Why is Tony making things so complicated? They just want to go home for answer. Those were, none of those were questions, but for answers to questions <laughs> that I will ask next time. Tune in next time to Total Party Kill. What, wasn't why is Tony making it this so hard? That's a question. absolutely a question. <laughs> why question. is Tony making it so hard? I mean, we're farther away from the chieftain now. In this corridor, like we seem to have disabled the traps. We could also just, I don't know, take a nap, spend the night here. Right? It might be worth scouting about a little bit first before you decide to take it, to spend the night here. But to mm -hmm. find out if that's what you do next time, <laughs> tune in next time. Total party kill. How's everyone doing? Oh, two endings there. That was exciting. Yeah. yeah double the endings. Them, I'll put one of them after the music. <laughs> okay. Stay past the credits for a special scene. <laughs> yeah.